Previously, I have showed how you can create a sticky navigation bar in Home Assistant. In this video, I will show you another way to do it. This is currently what I use in my dashboard, and I think it works really well. You will need to install Card Mod and Button Card from Hacks. Start by creating a mod card. Think of mod card like a wrapper that will hold our other cards. That way, we could position the mod card using CSS, and the cards we place inside it will follow the mod card. Inside the mod card, I create a grid. This will again work as a wrapper for the buttons. Then I use custom button card to create the buttons inside the grid. For this, all I need is an icon, and I will do some basic styling. My icon will be 24 pixels wide, but I will make the IMG cell 50 pixels. The card background and padding I set to none and zero pixels. We will of course also need to add tap action to the button, otherwise it won't do anything. I'm setting mine to navigate, and since I use bubble card, I will point it to a pop-up window. Then I just copy paste this button so that I fill the grid with five buttons. Now that the buttons are done, let's position the navigation by using some CSS on the mod card. First, we need to define what we will style. In this case, it's HA card. I then start by making the whole navigation black. Then I change all the icons to be white. The border radius that I'm adding here might be unnecessary. It depends on the theme that you use. I then set position to be fixed and bottom to be 10 px. This moves the whole navigation 10 pixels from the bottom. My screen recording is a bit too tall, so I had to crop and duplicate a bit. That's why it might look a bit weird on the screen here. I then set left to 10 px. This moves it over to the left. We will also need to define the width of the navigation. But first, I set the padding to 10 px, gives the buttons a bit more space and Z index to 1. This makes sure it's always placed on top of other elements. Then for the width, I will use a clever calculation. I want it to fill the whole width, but we need to subtract 20 pixels. This is because we set left to 10px, and I also want 10px on the right. I will then move this block of code one step to the right by selecting it and pressing tab on the keyboard once. I then just reorganize it so it makes a bit more sense in my head. I will then use a media breakpoint so that we could change the width of the navigation based on the device that we are using. The top one is the default and mobile. The second one will be everything else. You will need to play around a bit with the min width value to get it to work properly on your devices. I have also made a mistake in this recording. The second media min width should actually be 800 px. I then define HA card again for the screen size. But for this one, we will only need to adjust the width and the left position. These values here are from trial and error. I want the navigation to be 60% wide, but I need to subtract 30 pixels because of scroll bars. Then to place it in the middle, I set left to be 20% plus the width of the left menu. You might have to adjust these numbers to work perfectly for you. And that's it. Pretty simple to do for a really cool and unique navigation bar. Here you can see how it looks on my desktop and mobile. As always, you can get the full code from the Gumroad link in the description. Thanks for watching. Until next time.